what is up people, Mr. Bob right here and welcome to a tutorial on how to play your Pokemon DS games on a DS emulator. Mostly your Pokemon games are going to be Diamond and Pearl and also Hard Gold Soul Server. Mostly I'm trying to find out my way on how to find it on the emulators but of course there's some emulators that are really bad or some that are good but you want to make it the screen look bigger or smaller however you want it but there's some people that could help but they don't have the answers for it but there are some youtubers that have big views on Pokemon games and they're using the emulator some of them and they don't do a tutorial on how they do or record the emulator alright so I'm gonna show you how to play your Pokemon DS games on your, on a DS emulator. The first thing that you need to do is go to WinRAR. All right, go to WinRAR. The very first link right here. If you're 32 bit, go to 32 bit. If you're a 64 bit, go to your 64 bit. Once you download it, the whole download thing, the link. It's mostly gonna be right here, but mostly a lot of you guys don't have like Windows 7 or still like a Windows Vista person. Go to your download list wherever it's downloading and install it. Once you have that installed, um, you're ready to go for the next step. Once you do that, you're gonna go to Google or anywhere in your Internet Explorer, Firefox, anywhere you want, and you're gonna write this down Desmond I call it Desmond I'm not sure if I'm saying it right but it's a Desmond emulator for your DS and you're gonna go right here this third link right here don't go to the first one because I never tried that but mostly the third one alright go to your third link and you have all of these versions right here from the Nintendo DS emulator if you're 32 bit click on this one if you have Mac using on this one and also if you guys are using Mac follow me also but you have Mac make sure you click on that one and for 60 64 bit it's right here I am a 64 bit um, guy that has a computer so I'm gonna click this one and it's downloading up here the same thing with uh, 32 bit and Mac once it is downloading whatever is downloading on your download list is mostly mine's right here but I already did mine so I don't need to download it anymore and wherever you downloaded it open it okay once you open it, uh, it well of course mine is a 64-bit Windows 7 it's mostly right here but mostly wherever it's in the download list you're gonna open it anyways so open that and you have all of these uh, files right you have all of these files you gotta extract it to anywhere you want on your computer. You could put it on your desktop, or on your documents, or your saved games. I mostly have mine already in saved games, so uh, make sure to download that or, or download it. <laughs> extract it to anywhere in the folders you want. And it only takes like a really like probably like one second, so it's it's really that fast. So once you do that, um, close everything down. Well, not everything, just the download list. Okay, once you have already downloaded, of course, it's gonna open. Wait, let me go to that emulator one, and it's right here, right? It's mostly gonna look like like this icon right here Desmond E emulator 64 bit Mac or 32 bit. I'm not sure how it would, how it would look in 32 bit. Probably it's the same thing as this or Mac. So I'm sorry, guys, but for sure I think it's gonna look like this for sure. And you gotta open it. Mostly the default uh, class is mostly gonna be like this, right? But you're like, how did you made it look how, like sideways or hor or horizontal? You gotta go to your view. You go. You gotta go to your LEDs um, outline. And you're gonna uh, put it horizontal, and this is how you mostly get it uh, to be a horizontal. You could also change the size right here. You could change the size of your emulator however you want. It. You want it to be big, you want it to be small, all that good stuff. Or you could go to your view, 
and go to your window size and you could go right here with five times four times three times two or one however you want so leave this open for now just minimize it and just exit that and you want to get Pokemon games right so that's what we're gonna do right now so you gotta to go to your cool ROM coolrom.com it's mostly gonna be the first link and right here in search you gotta to go to Pokemon or just put Pokemon oh my bad right here Pokemon okay what's going on oh I forgot to <laughs> press go once you have this you gotta go right here in this tab Nintendo DS and you have all of these um, Pokemon games on the DS you have Pearl, uh, Soul Server, Hard Gold, and Diamond. I mostly downloaded all those four um, Pokemon games so you can know it really works. Once you have that, uh, make sure you download them. But if you want to know how to download them, you click on the link. And right now it's Hard Gold. And you could go all the way down here to download. Once you click on that, there's a message right here, view our sponsored message while your download link appears in how many seconds. Once you do that, you gotta click on this, um, download your file, it's gonna download here. Just keep it like this guys, of course it doesn't take that long, uh, there, my internet went off for right now, so it, it only takes like about maybe like two or three minutes max because they're like a real small small file so you gotta do them all for all the Pokemon games hard gold soul silver diamond and pearl or whichever whichever one you want and like I said you just click on the uh, link of the game you want right, let's try pearl I'll recap everything again and you go down here to download wait as many seconds you, you, as it tells you Come on, and you gotta click download your file. It's gonna download, and however how long it's gonna take, and right there. Once you already download your game or your WinRAR file game that you're using, uh, we're gonna go back to our download list, or wherever you are. I mostly have a Windows 7 computer, guys, so sorry if you have Vista or anything like that. Oh my God. Okay, let's go down here, and um, and they're right here, right? They're right here for for you guys that have Windows uh, 7, but you have it on your download list on your Google Chrome or anywhere else. Um, make sure to open it. This open hard gold, and it's right here. This is DS file, all right. Once you have that, extract it anywhere you want, or you could extract it next to the uh, emulator. Do it for all of them or whatever Pokemon game you wanted for your DS. Once you have that done for all four of them or whichever you want, um, close everything. You gotta go back to your emulator and you gotta open it right here. File open or you could go right here, this little tab right here, this little square box that you say is right there, open ROM. So you gotta open it. I mostly have all of these four um, Pokemon games. So first we're gonna go to Hard Gold. And here it is. Pokemon Hard Gold Silver version. I mostly already have a save file. So you're gonna go right here. Or you're mostly gonna have a new game, but I already saved mine. It does work if you save it automatically guys so I'm gonna save it for right now yes I want to save it yes I want to overwrite it and you can see like you hear like the song go really slow don't worry about that guys nothing is gonna happen that's how it is because um, it's mostly like an emulator not like a Game Boy but I think it also it also does it the Game Boy or the DS so right there you have it uh, save. Uh, I'm gonna show you it really works after you already save it so you gotta close it open it again or for me and hard gold and of course it takes like a little while guys for it to upload like just a few seconds okay yeah 
guys have a save. And there you go. It's really safe. But I'm still going to show you the other ones, guys. Pokemon Diamond and also Pokemon Pearl. So we have Gold Silver, so we're going to open Soul Silver. They all work, guys. Trust me, I already done it before. While I was trying to figure out, of course, you got Soul Silver. Of course, yes. And here it is, it works. There's no black screen or any crashes whenever you um, play Pokemon on this emulator. So we're gonna close it again. We're gonna open um, Diamond. Mostly a lot of these guys I did it before I try to do all of this because if I done it with um, a new game and everything, um, all of you guys would be like, oh, it's taking forever. So I already saved like some games right here, as you can see. As you can see, it works for Pokemon Diamond also. So we're gonna uh, close it. Make sure to always close it, guys. When you're gonna close it around, make sure you close it. And right here, go to your Pokemon Pearl. For any of you guys, whatever Pokemon game you're using or whichever you want. And here it is, Pearl version. Of course, I already have mine saved from Dawn. <laughs> of course, you can see it works really good. It works really good. There's no black screen, none of that. Oh, you have to put in a code or whatever. So that's how you use your Pokemon um, Diamond and Pearl and also Hard Gold Souls over on the. Let me see, where is it? On this website, this man in or D Zoom E uh, <laughs> Nintendo DS emulator. Make sure to go to desman.org download. I'm mostly gonna put every link down in the link in the description. And if you want to know how I did this, if you missed it like a few seconds ago, you go to go to view LCD out outline. You could change it to vertical or horizontal. If you have a vertical for sure it's gonna look like a real DS. Um, you could change the, the size of it guys so you could make it small, you can make it um, big, you can make it small but I mostly like it the other way which is horizontal which you could like play it as almost like a sideways uh, <laughs> Nintendo DS. Because mostly a lot of people want to record their Pokemon games but of course they don't want to show all of it or well, maybe they would but they only show the top screen of the of the game not like right here this both sizes so so all you got to do is go to outlet view outlet LCD outlet and you can uh, change it to vertical like how regular Pokemon um, games are mostly or you can show both of them and the touch screen and you just change it to horizontal and also like I said you could make it uh, however size you want to big to small however you want it however you want it but of course you cannot like make it like whole all full screen so I think it's a, this is a really good way to have it like this you could just record it or however you want it so I think that's enough about it on how to play your Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and also Hard Gold Soul Silver on the Desmond uh, emulator. So if you have any question guys, if something goes wrong, um, just contact me, comment down below on this video. And also, um, I'm not sure if it will, if I know because black and, black and white version, I think they're mostly like uh, 3DS games. So. I don't know if that will work for this one, but I don't think it won't. But I haven't found any ROMs to black and white, so this is how you use your Pokemon emulator for your Pokemon DS games. So make sure to like, share, and favorite this video, guys, because mostly a lot of people in the world or in YouTube, anywhere else in the internet, want to know how to make videos of their own Pokemon series or whatever. So. 
make sure to like share favorite and also subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos later on because i've been doing pokemon um a let's play of fire red and leaf green so make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more pokemon games so damn it do well i say have a nice day guys later